Hey, good morning, YouTube. Um, I wanted to do a quick video on how to use the photo editor that comes with Windows to make some adjustments to your pictures. Um, let's get started. First thing is go down and click on the little window on the bottom, which will bring up your menu. Go over to uh, where it says photos and click on photos. This will open up and allow you to see your photos. Then um, you should click on one of your photos that you want to play around or edit. Um, in this case, a quick picture of me at the Eiffel Tower. A um, couple things. One is um, it's pretty easy to do some basic editing or um, changing some things. Uh, we'll do a couple of different things with a couple of different pictures. If you go up top to where it says edit and create, you're going to see there's a couple of different options. Um, first things first, uh, look, go down and choose edit. And you'll see that there's an enhance and there's an adjustment. Uh, for the moment, let's go to adjust. And you'll see there's the option to crop or rotate a picture. I'm going to click on crop and rotate. Uh, a couple of quick things you can do is um, nice and easy. You can flip your picture. Hey, I just turned the other way. It's that quick and easy. So if you want to flip the direction of your picture, it's that easy to do. You can also rotate a picture. So you, if you've taken it with the camera and it's to the side like this, clicking the rotate button will give you the opportunity to, um, to change the position. So those are some pretty easy things to do. Something else you can do if you want is you can also choose to adjust the size of your picture. You see these little bars in the bottom? This will give you the option. Let's say I, I just wanted me rather than the Eiffel Tower. Then again, we probably don't want to do that. If anything, let's get rid of me because we don't really care if I'm in the picture, but we'd like to see the Eiffel Tower. If you click and hold with your mouse like I'm doing, you can drag and it will change the size of the picture. So now, instead of having me, we've adjusted it. You choose, you go over to the right side, you choose done. And now we have a picture of the Eiffel Tower. I'm no longer there. Um, other things you can do, um, you know what, let's save this copy and we'll try opening another picture. We'll close this here. We're going to go back down and go back to our window and choose photos. Again, this time, let's pick this photo here. Let's go back to our editor. You're going to choose to edit and create. Let's go back to edit and crop again. Now, under enhance, there are different filters, which we'll talk about in a few minutes, but let's go back to adjust. Uh, a couple other things I want to show you with adjust is if you go down to the bottom, you see this picture has red eye. That's specifically why I chose it. Let's see if we can get rid of the red eye. I have part of the picture cropped out because the red eye is the piece I really wanted to show you. Click on red eye here. And if you go over with your mouse, right on top of where you have the red eye, click with your mouse. We're going to go over to the other eye, click with your mouse. And now you notice it did a pretty good job of getting rid of the red eye. Uh, the picture itself looks a little bit hazy because I zoomed it in so you could really see the red eye. But it's the same thing. You could either save the original picture. This will save the edits of the picture. Or I always say save a copy because what if you're not happy with the way it came out? You don't want to ruin your original picture. But you do have the option to save, which will save the original picture or save a copy. I always say save a copy of it. This way you have the original if you want to go back to it. Um, now let's go back and let's open another picture. Um, go back to our window, go back to photos. 
This time, we're going to scroll down and let's open up this picture here. All right, so now we have a picture of a background scene. Um, let's go to edit and create. Let's go back to edit again. Now, this time what you can do is, by default, you can actually just choose different filters. Filters are the, the big thing now. Everybody wants to put a filter on their picture. You can, by default, change what the picture looks like. You could literally make a black and white picture out of um, your original if you want, but there's a bunch of different filters that come with this. So you could always adjust with those filters. But um, if you don't like the way something looks, you want to see what it looks like originally, just go to undo all, and that'll bring you back to where you started. Now, by default, there's um, a feature to en enhance your photo. Um, if you click on that, you'll notice Microsoft has adjusted the color of the photo for us that a lot of times that's enough to uh, make a difference to lighten up your picture to make things really nice it does a pretty nice job you can also if you go back under adjust um, you can easily if you want to lighten up your picture you drag the bar and it, it will make it lighter so you can do it on your own if you want to change the color you can enhance the color or you can literally take color out. So you can add more color, dragging to the right. You can take color out, dragging to the left. You can also play around with the clarity of the picture. This, I think, just look at how much clearer. I'm not sure if you could see that. Hopefully you can on the screen, but the picture now looks a lot clearer. So the clarity makes a big difference. So there's a lot of different things you can play around with and it's pretty easy. The nice part is if you don't like anything, just click undo and you can start from the beginning. It brings you right back. So it's that quick and easy. In our case, I think I want this picture to be a little bit clearer. I want to lighten it up just a little bit. Same thing, I do not want to save it to the original. I want the original just in case, so I'd rather just save a copy, and that will save a copy in my folder. So now I have my new picture. Um, so those are the basic things you can do. There is always um, there's more features, there's different ways to play. The more you play with this, the more things you'll see, but I hope that the tutorial was enough to really just get you started. Uh, anyway, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day, YouTube.